excited about everything. Um, the fact that Liza is at the palace. I mean, this is if it's if it's emotional for us, you can imagine it must be emotional for her. She's a true icon. I've known her since she was 17. I mean, through the hills and the valleys, and she continues, and I'm so proud of her. She's a true entertainment icon. She really is a great entertainer on the planet, and uh, can't wait to see it. Nothing as important as tonight. I think the reason tonight is so important to me is she's doing a lot of material that her godmother, Kay Thompson, arranged. And the fact that she's ended up with it three generations later is very exciting to me. It's good to be a, a happy occasion and to celebrate your friends. Well, I haven't seen this whole show, uh, but the, the, uh, the medley of her godmother's music uh, which I've, I've heard a lot about, but I've, I've never seen her perform it. But uh, the whole evening is exciting for me because is, she sounds terrific and she's very excited and very up, and so I'm looking forward to it a lot. I saw the show actually in, um, in Glasgow in the summer, so I, I know what's coming. There's some great dancing. It's really amazing dancing. She's in great form. She's going to do this material so well. I've heard a couple of recordings that Liza's made of the show tonight um, that she had me listen at Michael Feinstein's one night and it's just glorious, it's really excellent. I expect to see brilliance, I expect to see her knocking it out of the ballpark, I expect to see Liza's back and her hips and her knees and her uvula. The first time I saw her live was at Radio City and um, it was crazy. You know what I mean? It was just stupid good. And you just go like, wow, she really can do anything. The first time I saw her ever, what I was just saying was when I was a kid, I saw Cabaret, the movie. And then, you know, one flew over the cuckoo's nest and tell me you love me, Junie Moon. And, and the first time I saw Liza live, I, I'm not sure, I, I can't remember which show here in New York I saw, but, I, you know, I kind of lose track. Well, the first time I ever saw her was in the movie The Sterile Cuckoo when I was a kid. Yeah. And you know, she was exceptional. She was amazing. And, um, you know, I've just followed her ever since. And she's definitely been an inspiration to me, you know, in my musical theater career. Uh, I did a lot of Liza Minnelli songs, you know, in college and for auditions. And so, yeah, she's been a, she's been a real force in my life. And I didn't even think about it till tonight. I saw her in rehearsal because we were in the same show. That's when I met her. I hadn't seen her on a stage yet. This is way back at the beginning of her career. Career. We were doing a television special called The Dangerous Christmas of Little Red Riding Hood. She was Little Red Riding Hood. I was a giraffe. Saw her on television when she appeared with her mother when she was a kid. So I've seen just about everything she's ever done, I suppose. I'm excited for her to surprise everybody and like old school Liza. It's going to be great. She's going to, I hope she does some of the old, old stuff and I'm a huge fan. It's going to be good. I'm lucky to be here, you know. I am a fan. I make fun of her, but I love her, you know. Come on. Uh, of course I love her, but I make fun of her. Nothing I can do about that. It's material. I'm here for the material too. And for her. I'm not going to lie. Liza, Liza, and yet more Liza. Please. 
心。